Hello, so last time we left off, uh, you guys that followed the build uh, might remember that I had all my uh, moving panels in, uh, installed in the gnome, dome. Now I need to control them. And you might also remember that I previously used this uh, AVR uh, base controller uh, for my R2D2 uh, 232 control. So now that's 60 bucks and it has a screen and button, I really don't need that for the uh, controlling the panel so instead I, I took a look at that board that is available from evil mad scientist which is what we are and uh, it's uh, less than three bucks actually and all you do is you buy your uh, five bucks uh, at mega controller solder it in there and there's conveniently a few pins out there uh, to put headers and whatever you want so you can configure it any way you want so for less than ten bucks here's my uh, 10 servo controller uh, and as you will see it has also an RC input uh, and uh, I just and uh, connected it to an XB to control it here are my servos only four of them in that demo and at the other end just an XB plugged in straight into the computer so let's see how that works so here's a tour of the uh, dome panel setup as it's now. I've put the controller in the dome, so it's back there. You can see the, the red light uh, blinking over here. R2 has sprouted an antenna. That's the XB antenna sticking, so I, I have it there temporarily. I thought it was cute. He has one hair. Uh, on the other end, this is the other XB, and uh, if you guys have followed my build, you will recognize uh, the Mac that I <laughs> just revived, so I use that as a temporary controller, the poor guy is going to be replaced by an iPhone or an Arduino. And the controller has already responded, and it asks for a DOM Pi panel command, which will uh, issue in a second, and uh, I'll still use my RC controller in some of the demo. Uh, and let me show you how this works. If I can put you in the tripod, here we go. All right, everybody works, everybody fits. And okay, so the RC is working. So as I had it before, and uh, I can still do that, I can control it by RC. So I enter a simple command RC. There we go. And I can do what I used to do, which is control them all with the RC button here. Uh, of course, n now I can do much better. I can, uh, for example, let's see, um, uh, do RC02. So that will put it on the panel number two. And so I can control the panel number two, or RC10, and I guess what will happen. So. You got the idea. Uh, but really, the beauty of this is to do all by uh, computer control. Uh, so I can do now strictly by command open panel 3, OT03, there we go, close 03, open 10, if I type it right, open 10, open. Nine, etc., and close all. And uh, actually, you have seen that since on the computer I have speed control, uh, so I can open them all. And when I close them, if you close all, it's CL00 in another language. And it uses it, it controls the speed of the servo and closes them uh, a little bit softer, which I think is nicer. But of course, I have a fully built sequencer in the thing, so let's look at a few sequences that I programmed. And a simple kind of slow down, open and close, and that would go with the, uh, the screen sound, obviously. Um, then sequence 02, that's SEO2 in my language. Wave SE03 That's a fast wave. This I, I, I actually copied from a uh, uh, big happy dude. Uh, so that was fun. 
very slow open and close, uh, something that you would do you know, if you were sick, so this is a sick sound. Alright, so that's what it is. Also, uh, it gets rid of the buzzing sound of the servos because as soon as he's done with them, he turns them off. So that's uh, how it is for now. Thank you, R2. And uh, next time, hopefully, you will have more things automated, like the hollow movement and, and other things, uh, with my $10 controller. All right.